how to embed Instagram feed on Shopify. Now that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, if you follow along, you will be able to do this. So if this video was helpful, please do let me know in the comments. But basically, I over here have my website. Now I would like to add um, the Instagram feed right over here. Now, in order to do that, we are going to use a website called Elfsite. Now, this website offers a lot of different widgets. As you can actually see, there's like a lot of them. And over here on the social part, you have the Instagram feed right over there. Now, by the way, I do also have a direct link to this uh, page, like the Instagram feed widget builder uh, in the description as well, and also a direct link to their website. So. Once you are here in the um, uh, widget builder, you have six templates to choose from. So the profile widget, the grid, the small widget, the hashtag showcase, the post slider, and the dark profile widget. So you can choose which one you would actually like to use. So I'll just go with the small widget, I think, and then I will click on continue with this template. Then here you can either add a public account or a hashtag, uh, my business account and my personal account. Now for this one, you have to connect to your Instagram or this one to your Facebook. Now, if you have a business account, this is actually public either way. So I'm not sure why exactly you would like to do that, but basically you can do whatever you would like to. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just use a hashtag since I don't really have an account to show this. Um, so I'll just use hashtag, I just chose hashtag New York, as you can see. Now this is what you will get to see, very nice. And then at filters right over here, you can also uh, show posts containing these words or hashtags or hide posts containing these words or hashtags. So you can filter out certain types of posts. And then you can click on add to website. And here you will have to create an account. Now I already have one, so I'll just continue with Google. And then once you are here, you can still customize it however you would like. You can even change the layout as well, um, which is actually very nice. But yeah, once you are done with this, you want to click on the green publish button in the top right corner. This will bring you over to the plans page. Now, as you can see, there is a free one, but it's actually very limited, as you can see. Now, if you're OK with that, then you can simply click for uh, click on that one. But if you want to be less limited, then you can actually click any of these other plans. As you can see, there's like way more features. If you first choose the light version, so the free one, and then go to deals right over here, you actually have a welcome discount coupon, which is available for 24 hours and saves you 20%. So maybe do that first and then go ahead and choose a different plan and upgrade. So it will save 20%. At the time of this recording, there's also a 30% discount, but if that isn't the case for you, then you can use the other method. Now, once you are done, you can simply hit install, then the code will pop up right over here. You want to copy that, go back to your Shopify website. Now, this is where it will get a little bit complicated because for some themes on Shopify, it's actually very easy to do, but for some, they are, it just isn't. Because Shopify, I don't know why they just like to do like every theme is just different. So for this theme, I could easily add a selection and then add custom liquid. So I could just easily add any HTML code I would like to. But if you don't have the same Dawn theme like I have, then you might have to search on YouTube or on Google um, how to specifically add HTML for your specific theme. So keep that in mind, but I'll just add a custom liquid. Then here I will paste it in there. Then I'll just hit save. And then once that is done, you can see that the feed has now shown. As you can see, if this video helps you out, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.